Magenta, our very first episode. I am so excited. I couldn't even sleep last night. Tiff, are you excited? This I'm is super just, excited. I mean, really, we are so excited. Not just about today's episode. We have great things in store for you for today and our season ahead. We're going to have great topics, relevant content, and very special guests. Right now is our very first segment, and it is called the Spectrum Check. Tiff, what is our Spectrum Check? Ah. So the Spectrum Check, guys, is our way of talking about current events and relevant topics. So every week we're going to talk about where we are mm -hmm. in the magenta spectrum. Yes. yes. Love it. Okay. So let's see where we are this week, Tima. Let's take a look. Okay. Right. So this week, Tima, mm -hmm. in the magenta spectrum, we are talking about plastic surgery mm. gone wrong. Mm -hmm. So I've been scrolling Facebook. I really didn't even have to look. Very at some of my favorite websites, CNN and all my favorite news outlets. Mm -hmm. But I've been seeing so many posts about women who have gotten plastic surgery that has caused either death mm -hmm. or some kind of mm -hmm. serious ailment to their body. Mm -hmm. Like, and it just got me thinking, like, is this what we are as a culture? Right. Is it really that serious right. that I'm willing to put my health at risk for a bigger booty or whatever? I don't know. Like, Which what is really just that? a trend. Honestly, if you look at the way trends happen, Right now, that's the biggest thing. Having a big booty is what's in. Eventually, that's gonna fade out and it'll be the next best thing. I think uh, one of the young ladies with the lips, they had this challenge with the lips going on. That's right. gonna be the next thing. Exactly. At the, at the end of the day, the bottom line is we need to focus on better self-esteem, healthier self-esteem, where you fine with whatever you got. And not letting people put whatever. I mean, people have been literally putting, this one girl had somebody put cement. Oh no. See, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Like, we're not going to do that. Where do they do that? They're clearly there. They're, we're not going to do that. Cement? We're not going to do that. That's, so you, that got okay. <laughs> you got the real junk in the trunk. You got the real junk in the trunk. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> what your Jerome say on Martin John? She <laughs> <laughs> was for real trying to be John. That is it not. Real. No. Like, really? We're not going to do that. And not even that, but people are not only getting, like, crazy cement and plastic, but mm -hmm. people are going to people's houses. Yes. There was a girl who died. Who got? I can't remember what part of her body she was looking to augment, but she went to check this out. The, it was it was a project in your hometown mm. in New York. New York, get it together. <laughs> Shout out to your hometown. Sorry. She went to the. She was in somebody's house in the projects in New York. I'm sorry, we don't have no credential. We're not even in a. We gonna go roll up in somebody's project apartment and let them inject. We're not. That's not. We're not applying wisdom in that. We're lacking so much more than just knowledge about the consequences of these augment of these augmentation procedures. And then you're not even checking on the doctor. You're not even checking. That's man, man, uncle. You don't even need to know that you no, got some kind of life. We're not gonna do that. Like, we're not gonna do that. So, ladies, for the spectrum check, let's check ourselves. Yes. That is not okay. That let's is have not okay. Enough self esteem. Let's care about our bodies enough that we, first of all, only allow people with licenses who have been to school right. to put credible products in our and, bodies. Right. But more than that, let's appreciate who we are and love ourselves. Like you said, sis, it's a trend. Next is going to be something else mm -hmm. with the hair. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But you know what? We have to learn to embrace and fall in love. Isn't that what we're talking about Falling today? in love. Falling in love with who with we ourselves. are. Yes. And you know, that, that segues so perfect into defining the magenta woman. Ooh, yes. What is the magenta woman? Yeah. Well, first of all, let's talk about where magenta came from. Absolutely. As we talk about the magenta woman. Absolutely. Where did, let's talk about where the idea came from. Tima, you go first. So, I mean, media has the, the ability to influence, to inspire, to, you know, promote certain things. And growing up, we saw positive images like Claire Huxtable, one of my yes. absolute favorites. Oh. She was a mother, she was an attorney, so she was classy, yes. she was beautiful, and she had healthy self-esteem. And mm -hmm. you saw an episode week after week. Right, right. Now, mm -hmm. you look- school babies have to look to? Lord, you have the, the what's the, the love and hip hop? Jocelyn Hernandez. Right. We, we love her, we're not, you know. You have the, the basketball wives and all of these other, um, 
false positives, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, and our young ladies are gravitating to that. They are adopting those mentalities, and it's really toxifying how they feel about themselves. Absolutely. You know, I think I told you this. I was in the store. Um, and I heard, I was walking, and the girl was loud. I, I promise I wasn't eavesdropping. But I heard this girl say she had posted something on Facebook. And she literally, she said, I just posted something and they ain't get no likes. I think I'm going to pull it back down. Oh, wow. And I was like, really? That's so, like, validation. the credibility and the validation comes from people liking it. Like, it just wasn't because you felt it was good enough to post. Right. Be and, and she wasn't super young either. She was a millennial woman. She was a millennial woman. And she, like, she said it so confidently, like... Mm, that nobody liked it, so it must not be worth anything. And I was like, wow, have, has our value mm -hmm. gotten to that place where right. we don't get enough likes on social media? Or follows. Or follows, or hearts. Or hearts now, <laughs> right, right. Or Periscope, exactly. that we feel like we're not worthy. Exactly, and you, that's why this show is so necessary. Yeah. That's why we are doing Magenta. Magenta is a platform to really encourage women to love themselves. Yes. It's providing an alternative perspective of what real womanhood looks like. You're fabulous. Well, thank you. And so you, you have on a full outfit. Yeah, you are completely covered. And you know what, Timo? And you're speaking real we English. We don't throw bottles. We're not throwing bottles. <laughs> we don't fight. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. This is what Magenta is. Exactly. I love it. And it's just, it's so amazing because I had this idea. Mm -hmm. Well, I had an idea. Right. To do a show. And who knew? Like, and then you had the same idea. The exact same vision. So we got to tell them how we met, Timo. Oh my God! But you know what? You got to go first in the promo. I did. Okay, so go ahead. I'm gonna go first. Can okay. I go first? Yes, you can go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I'm, you can correct me where I'm wrong. Okay. So let me see. It was 2000 and six. Six. Yes. Right. Yes. Well, I'm gonna take it all the way back. Take it back. I was teaching a makeup class. Is yes. that the first time we met? 2005. Yeah. Uh -huh. Shout out to the MUAs out there. <laughs> That's one of my hats. Well, I took that hat off. I don't really do makeup artistry. But she's anymore. still good. Still teaching me. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Something. <laughs> but it was 2006. Yes. I taught a makeup class. You were in the front row. I was asking I all the questions. Asking all the questions. That's what I do. I uh -huh. remember. Uh -huh. I was like, this girl is really excited to learn about makeup. All the questions. <laughs> She's asking every question. <laughs> so excuse me. Um, and about this <laughs> mascara. Uh huh. Honey, whatever it says on the back. It's not what you need to get. No, that's, that's fine. You came to me. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it was good, though. But your tips were good. good. Well, mm -hmm. thank you. That was our first I encounter. Yes, it was. Right. And then, like, months later, mm -hmm. We My met. sister's keeper. It was a cooking class. Mm -hmm. That's right. We was about to get in trouble. We day. almost got put out. We no, did. you almost got spanked. I did. Your mom was going to get My mom was teaching. And I almost got put out. Yeah. Yes. That was good times, though. It was. And my, brother, was... my brother, give him a shout out, because he recommended you. He did. Because, you know, I have to, like, make I need a, a recommendation? <laughs> well, it's not you, Pumpkin. It's me. You know, I, I have to let people in. It's like a process. Right. I understand that. Application process. Yeah. Like you know, I need a The interview this, process. Okay. Interview, mm -hmm. and we need a few references. Uh -huh. So he was your reference. He said, oh, you got to get the no team where you're just going to Shout out to Jam. Shout out to Jam. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> but he was right. I mean, we he literally, was. I think I invited him It was like instant. Yes. Right? You had me over for dinner. She As can cook. Fact. Yes, you had me over for dinner, and, and also, it started can we from there. Can for a second because magenta women cook? Magenta, that's a whole different that's segment. Whole other, yes. Segment. Okay, but I just throw that out there. Mental note. Yeah, because yeah. magenta women cook. They cook. Real food. Real food. Yeah, like I peel potatoes and wash green. Not with noodles. Okay, okay, so we're coming back to that. But anyway, I had mm -hmm. you over for dinner. Yes. And after that, nine years later, and our friendship anniversary. That's right. Is next <laughs> month. <laughs> okay. Okay. So anyway, so that's how we met. That's how the Magenta Women came together. Yes. Yes. What a beautiful journey. I know. And we you still know, have so much more to do. We still have so much more to do. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that through this platform that women will fall in love with themselves enough. You know, the reason why, sis, and I love that you you were the one who came up with the title for this show. That was that was God. I'm not even trying to be deep. <laughs> I promise you that was She's God. She's looking the church on us, I did, No, I didn't. I had to. Real quick. <laughs> I, real quick. <laughs> Because seriously, I, I could not come up with anything. Remember, we, we were struggling for a couple of weeks. Forever. And I just finally said, Lord, what is this show? Right. How can we define the show in one word? And you said magenta. And I was like, mm. give it to me. Give right, it to right. me. Give me more. Give it right. I was like, and that was I, magenta. I, I, exactly. Yeah. Because we chose you cho The Lord shared magenta with you. Right. Because it's a combination of red, which is the power color. Yes. And violet, violet. Mm -hmm. which is the harmony color. Right. And we were like, wow, that's so perfect. We want so women fitting. to own their power, to walk in, you know. And be in alignment. Like, Absolutely. I'm fabulous, but be in harmony and be in peace, especially mm -hmm. with your creator. 
Absolutely. That's where came from. Yes, it did. You know what, sis? I'm hoping that through this platform, women will own who they are, mm -hmm. you know, and stop trying to be. I did an event a little while ago. It was called Recast Your Reality. Mm -hmm. And it was talking about taking out the stars from TV and casting yourself mm -hmm. as the star in your own life. Yeah. So many people have other people starring in their, in lives, their lives. In their lives. Mm -hmm. Like they're in the backseat in the, in the movie mm -hmm. of their life. Like mm -hmm. why? You're fabulous. We have to learn how to be the best at being ourselves. Yes, like we struggle with that. We take direction from actresses. We take direction from Cookie and Olivia Pope. And that, that becomes our definition of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then that's when you are accepting to disrespect. Exactly. You're accepting to be being you, a side chick. To being a, the glorified side Ain't chick. Nobody got time. We ain't got time for that. What we ain't got time for that. That's a whole no. show. We got that it one It is a whole other <laughs> mental note. Cussing season. But absolutely. It, it, it truly needs to be a platform that promotes and enforces and yeah. encourages positive imagery Absolutely. and I think that's I think that's what what many women are looking for I know the millennial women are tired of the the mundane and the same old shows we fighting over man we throwing by calling everybody be how you 35 you still you fighting like that like yes. what are you doing really? that's you not reality that? Because in reality, you throw a bottle at me, you going to jail. Exactly. On reality Let's TV, she throwing a bottle, she going back to her condo. Exactly. That's not reality, ladies. Exactly. It's not. No. This is reality. Yes. I don't want to call Virginia. you a B, I'm going to call you a queen. <laughs> queen. Because that's what you look like. Thank you. So when we come back, ladies, we're going to be talking a little bit about fashion and style and how you can fall in love with the inner and the outer you. So stay tuned. We're looking to expand the Magenta team. Are you currently studying TV and film production? or marketing, branding, and social media management? If so, we are looking for you. Come on over to our Facebook at Magenta TV and let us know that you're interested in joining the Magenta team. We can't wait to hear from you. Welcome back. So now you know a little bit more about who the Magenta Woman is. In this segment, we're gonna really talk a little bit more about how the Magenta Woman embraces the body, the package that she has, and uses fashion to turn heads yes. when she walks into the room. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a special guest with us, the Danielle Baker Aww. of Signature Inc. She is a model coach and fashion show producer, super qualified to talk to us about fashion and style. I'm going to just turn it right over to you, Danielle. Hi. Oh, absolutely. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, today we're going to concentrate on the four basic shapes mm, okay. and it's so important for you to know how to dress for your shape you know you sometimes you have two people that's different shapes and they're trying to wear the same thing and you wonder why one person looks really good and the other person doesn't who did it better right mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly mm -hmm. but it's mainly because they don't know how to dress you okay. know for their shape and sometimes you don't know what you don't know until we you find out that. you know okay, so, so we're gonna yeah we're gonna find out that information on your screen you'll see the four different um shapes that we're gonna be talking about today which is the apple shape mm -hmm. the pear shape um, the hourglass shape and the rectangular Ooh, shape. Okay. So I'm happy I have a model here, models yes. here today, to kind of show you some examples of exactly what shape you are and what you can wear. So first we're gonna start off with rectangle shape. Um, so we have model Tierra that's coming out on the rectangular side. Oh, now for nice. your rectangle shape, mm -hmm. um, you wanna make sure the most important thing is you wanna create curves for yourself. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, a rectangle can kind of be like a box. So you wanna make sure that you're creating curves. So with the blouse and also you wanna get some of the attention towards the upper part of, part of your body. So with this blouse, it's, it's nice, it's fashionable, it's a great mm -hmm. color mm -hmm. on her skin tone. Yes. Yes. Um, it kind of goes with the funky look with her hair, yes. earrings and um, also at the bottom just by leaving your shirt out can create you know more of a curve for you you know more body language versus you tucking it in and you're kind of taken away from what the curve that you have so something that simple can be a change for your wardrobe thank you Tiara. so she is a rectangle I didn't know that yeah okay I gotta make it this well but you're not a rectangle we're gonna talk about your shape okay that's right but um next up is our pear shape so your pear shape, ladies, is when you are smaller at the top 
and you are more hippier, or you know, the majority of your weight is at the bottom half. Mm -hmm. So if you are a pear shape, I'm also a pear oh, shape. Pears, Tiffany is right, pear shape. Yes. <laughs> okay. So right. if you are a pear shape, you want to do things um, that's going to take the attention away from your bottom half. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily want to wear loud colors on the lower part the of your dark. body. Okay. You know, you want to keep it dark unless you have something else that's going to help insinuate the top half of your body. Oh. So in this regards here, you know, with the top that she has on, you know, a little ruffle there. When you first look at her, you're going to look at the top of her body before you look at the bottom. And it also is going to bring it in just a little bit to give her some waistline. Yes. I like that. I like that actual jacket. I do too. Just, that is, yeah, that is absolutely. Nice. Thank you. On your, you know, we're going to be sharing more looks. So even if, you know, when you get a chance, you can look on the screens absolutely. and see some of the um, other outfits that you can wear for your shape, whether it's business, whether it's just a casual day, you know, yeah. things of that nature. That I love good. it. Now, Little Birdie told me, Danielle, that you got a book coming out. I understand that you don't only deal with outer beauty, but you deal with inner beauty. Is that right? Absolutely. So let me tell you, the book is called Model Behavior. Mm. Yes. I know, right? You got to know how to behave yourself, yes. you know, yes. on the runway, um, on and off the yeah. runway. Life is a runway. That's what I Absolutely. Like. So my, my greatest thing about the book is there are some standalone chapters, meaning mm -hmm. if you're not even a model and you don't, you know, you desire to be, mm -hmm. you can look at these chapters and really just get some really good principles for everyday life. Mm -hmm. And one of those things are the self-esteem behaviors. Yes. So inside of the self-esteem behavior, because it's one thing to look gorgeous on the outside, yes. but it's another thing when you don't have that thing oh, together on the inside. The magenta woman <laughs> has it together inside and out. out. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> so with that being said, you know, I feel like, you know, if you are very confident about yourself and, and what people have to understand is self-esteem is coming from within. Yes. yes. Nobody yes. can give Nobody you self-esteem. Nope. That's why it's called self-esteem. Now, it's so many different ways that you can build your confidence up, mm -hmm. but you're not able to build your own self-esteem. I mean, you can build your own self-esteem, but other people can't build it for Poor you. You have to definitely. really, you know, pull it out. And a lot of times, us women, we get to, I don't like the way I look today. I can't stand my hair. I can't stand what I, you know, what I have on. But if you begin to dress for your shape, That's right. then you're That's able good. to do that, you know. Absolutely. Another shape is the apple shape, which Miss Natima. All right, apples and apples. Okay. Which Miss, Miss Natima is an apple shape. Yes. Now, with the apple shape, um, ladies, a lot of yours would be you're more top heavier mm -hmm. than the bottom half. So it's going to be important that you take the attention away from the top mm -hmm. and make the attention go on the bottom half of your body. So what's another example of that for like a chill outfit? I mean, I kind of get it obviously for the work day, but how do I transition that into the evening? Like, what Absolutely. Do I so what you want to focus on for the evening, like if you're going out, you know, at night or something like that, you can show a little leg. You can show some legs, yes. um, but you want to make sure if you're doing um, a shirt, you can do a circled neck, you can do um, a V-neck. Um, you don't want to do anything too tight, though. Okay. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. So if you do something super tight on the bottom, it's going to make the attention come towards the top. You know what I mean? Okay. Or if you're showing too much on the top, then you, people are going to just direct their attention there. We want to kind of balance it out. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I like how you try to get your own you say I try style to get coaching. I, I didn't get yes, to ask that question when I'm she was so on the pair, but that's okay. okay. You know. I, I still know what I need to know, so you do. Okay. <laughs> and then our last shape is the hourglass shape. Right, okay. So we all love the hourglass shape. Right. The hourglass shape is kind of like your Beyonce's out there, mm -hmm. uh, which is 10 inches in your waist mm -hmm. from the top half of your body and the lower part of your body. Mm -hmm. Drop Perfect that size. Should I not shouldn't mm -hmm. say that because they're all. Oh, they all we're all fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. You know, so you have to embrace. Yes. I'm actually a pear shape okay, myself. Right, right. You know, so okay. pear shirts you want to wear, you know, different things that's kind of fitting towards the top. Looser at the bottom, A-line skirts like the one I have on today yes. is fine. Okay. Your length dress is, you know, a good length as well. Okay. Um, anything that's not necessarily going, we don't want to do too short because right. then all of our attention is on our pair. Yeah, and we need it, you know, on the top part. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. So okay. um, also there are some jeans that, you know, it's really good for you to know what kind of jeans to wear. Oh, so we have that on the screen as well. Oh, yeah. This so your good. skinny jeans is more so for your rectangular shaped girls, oh, yeah. even though we love them. Ooh. See, it depends Am on I how wrong? you wear them. Good. I didn't know that. It, it depends I, on I how you wear them. Am I wrong for my skinny jeans? You are not wrong for oh, your, okay. skinny, <laughs> your skinny jeans. But um, apple shape, you can do skinny depending. Again, you don't want to go too tight. Right. 
Um, and then you also can do um, a flare, like a boot, a boot cut. Those are my favorite. Because it helps balance you out. Thank and then us pairs, we're supposed to wear the boot cut. Really? You know, I that's like going to give cut. the oh. best look on okay. us. Now, you can okay. wear whatever okay. pair of jeans you want. Okay. But you want to, you know. Yeah. No, you're right. Okay. Insinuate those great areas and make sure that you're balanced out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what we don't want to do, though, get into jeans, is the muffin tops, like the one oh. that you see. That so with the muffin tops, at all. At <laughs> it's kind of like you are too, your jeans may be too tight mm -hmm. or they're not for your shape. Mm -hmm. okay. So then you will get something small, but then you'll get all this extra stuff coming over top of your jeans. Mm -hmm. And that's called the muffin top. We want to stay away from that. Stay away from that. No matter yes. what shape you are, ladies. No muffin tops. No muffins. Keep it magenta. So not magenta. <laughs> no muffin tops. Definitely keep it magenta. I yeah. mean, you know. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to watch what I say. <laughs> so because even, we love our muffin tops, sisters, right? But we just got to fix it. Even when you just run into the mall or the market, yes. we got to get rid of those. Or give them to somebody who can fit them in their shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's what this segment is about embracing. Obviously, I want to be an hourglass, but I'm a pair, and I got to just be happy with it. You have to. You have to okay. love it. You know, we fall in love with ourselves. That's, that's right. It. That's what we do on the show. We fall in love with ourselves. So, so, yeah, you have to love, love your shape and the package Absolutely. that you came in. You okay. know what I mean? So, here's some ideas for all the shapes that's out there that you are able to dress, whether it's casual, whether it's business, whether it's formal. I hope that these uh, pictures that we're showing is gonna allow you to kind of see where you are and try something different. I always say, wear what you fear. I know, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Don't be scared of it. <laughs> try something new. So Danielle, tell us a little bit more about where people can follow you and find out I more about you. Signature Ink. Absolutely, you want to, on any social media, you can go to The Danielle Baker, that's T-H-E-E, Danielle Baker, or you can visit me on my website at thedaniellebaker.com. Awesome. She's the Danielle Baker. The one and only. <laughs> that was super magenta. Mental chat. Yes. 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 I loved it. Well, thank you so much, Danielle, for coming thank on. Thank you. My wardrobe is going to thank you. I'm, I'm really going to take those nuggets. No, for real. We're going to go shopping. I felt convicted on the skinny jeans. We're going to go shopping. She's going to check me. But y'all look great today. Well, thank, thank you. You, you know what I mean? Thank you. Y'all dressing for y'all shape today, honey. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So, guys, when we come back, we're going to be wrapping up this show. We hope that you've enjoyed this segment. See you in a moment. Looking for more Magenta? Be sure to follow us on Facebook at Magenta TV. Check out extra clips, behind the scenes footage, bloopers of Tiff and Tima. Weigh in and let us know what you thought about today's episode and share your ideas for topics. Be sure to follow us today at Magenta TV. Welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. Listen, we are so excited that you guys joined us for our very first, first episode. episode. We did that. We did it. We did yes. it. Yes. yes. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Special shout out and thank you to Danielle Baker, the, the Danielle, Danielle Baker, Baker of Signature Inc. for joining us and giving us those special nuggets about dressing for your shape. I felt convicted. I did. I'm I don't gonna... know. Shop for your shape. Shop for your shape. Shop for your shape. So, for so your is shape. that a note on the skinny jeans, or is it just like it's a, not as much? It's not as much. Okay, because yes. I really like a good skinny jeans. I know. With a blazer and a pump. I know. I feel like all is right with the work. We're going to find the ones for our shape, We're going to find the ones for our shape. That's okay, good. Do. So listen, ladies, for more interaction, for more um, information about Danielle, and for more information about our upcoming episodes, and to follow us on all of our social media, go, go to www.watchmagenta.com. Yes. That's www.watchmagenta.com. And we want you to follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and tag us in your post. Yes. As you're out there shopping for your shape, yes. <laughs> as you're out there falling in love with you, tag us and let us know that you are a magenta woman, right? Until then. And until next time, be in alignment. Be powerful. Be significant. Be, be magenta. magenta. Be in alignment.